joining me on stage to talk about his memories of 20 years of play. Please welcome Sony Computer Entertainment's president of Worldwide Studios, Shuhei Yoshida. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for coming. This is overwhelming. <laughs> Thank you all for inviting. Uh, so when I was uh, looking for a job inside the company, I was called by uh, my former boss, uh, Terry Tokunaka, uh, who eventually became the first president of Sony Computer Entertainment to meet with this person, Ken Kutaragi. Uh, he knew me, uh, Terry knew me as a huge gamer mm -hmm. um, because I was kind of advising the uh, small project uh, Sony, uh, actually Ken's team was working with uh, Nintendo. Uh, mm -hmm. That didn't you know, go well. Uh, so, so I met with uh, Ken and, uh, for the first time, and uh, Ken uh, said that the, you know, his uh, system he was making is going to be like the computer graphics uh, workstation of that time. Uh, that cost like uh, $100,000 or something. <laughs> And uh, he said the same power he put in this uh, small game machine and sell it for $500. And I was like, wow, this, this guy is a liar. You know, this yeah. guy. <laughs> so, so I went back to Terry and uh, Terry, you know, uh, he, he's a liar, right? And uh, Terry said, no, no, I, I, I believe what Ken is saying. And I was like, that's, that's unbelievable, let me in. What was uh, Ken Kutaragi like to work for? Ken, uh, Ken, Ken, Ken is a really nice person now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, you know. And what's your memory of, of actually launching the machine and getting it out there in, in front of uh, consumers? Mm. So I remember the morning, uh, in the morning of the lunch day in Japan, in Shinjuku, uh, I was standing outside the large, like a camera uh, 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 retailer. Uh, Yodobashi or some, somewhere, you know, selling the uh, PlayStation 1. They are a huge line of people waiting to get the system, and everyone who got hold on uh, PlayStation got a couple of games that I helped, you know, launch uh, with big smiles, you know, walked out of the uh, retailer. That was a huge, you know, moment for me. So with PlayStation, you were the new kids on the block entering the, the video games market. Absolutely. Uh, when, it came, when PlayStation 2 development came around, that was no longer true, and it was someone else's, Microsoft's turn to, to go first. How was the experience different for you at Sony? You know, I managed to have a game called uh, Fantavision, you know, for the launch. And, but uh, after that, I got ridiculed inside the company for the longest time, you know, having just uh, Fantavision. But I always said that, you know, it, I ha at least had a nice little puzzle game for the launch. You know, it's other studios <laughs> who didn't deliver for the launch um, because I was not, you know, at that time responsible for uh, many studios. Um, but so, so the system-wise, you know, because uh, all those great, you know, third-party publishers supported from the very beginning, and also it was the right time for just the time that the DVD as a medium for uh, movie viewing uh, was becoming popular and the PlayStation 2 offered a really uh, affordable system for people who wanted to purchase DVD. I remember the biggest selling launch title of PS2 was uh, Matrix, the movie. <laughs> Eventually, there are lots of you know, great games uh, released on uh, PS2, uh, but the launch was uh, really difficult for us. Mm. Uh, software teams in uh, Sony. Well, things changed a lot uh, at the time of the PlayStation 3. Uh, your competitors were going in different directions with online networks, with, with motion control. D did it feel like a, a different launch for you? Um, I always believe that the uh, video game business or industry uh, is uh, almost bulletproof because any technological uh, advancement we just take, suck it in, and uh, use it as a tool to create a new uh, gaming entertainment uh, experience. So the, the, the launch of PlayStation was really uh, uh, seized the chance to bring the real-time 3D graphics tech onto you know, game console. And uh, the 
we added, you know, online capability during the PS2 era. That was, you know, available for PC gaming for a long time, but uh, uh, we were able to uh, seize the time to bring that online capability to console. So it was a very natural thing for me when the Nintendo did that very smart, you know, motion gaming. Uh, we are looking at the advancement of uh, sensors and, uh, you know, tracking technology that, yeah, we can, we should, you know, uh, leverage these advancements to create new types of uh, gaming experience. Uh, so, we, you know, for me, it's just uh, natural for us uh, uh, in the, you know, platform uh, company to always look for the what new technology becomes available, uh, which the game developers can find it very uh, uh, useful uh, to create something, some new experience uh, that wow people. And the biggest of all for me is, of course, virtual reality. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited with uh, PlayStation VR. What's your favorite of all of the games that you've worked on? From a studio management you know, standpoint, the, for over, over the uh, last uh, um, 20 years, uh, the, I, I would say the, my favorite or the game I, I'm most proud of to be a part of the creation uh, is uh, Journey. Mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, when I uh, played the final game, I, like many people, I almost you know, had uh, mm -hmm. tears. I was thinking toward the end of uh, playing the game, thinking, uh, remembering about uh, my grandmother who passed away a couple of years before you know, uh, I, I played the game. So, and and uh, the reactions to, from the fans of the game uh, um, and the story about uh, people who uh, played the game, uh, I, I was uh, uh, very, very moved. Mm. Uh, uh, to be able to provide this, you know, help mm. um, this game to be, to be in existence. Okay, we've got time, I think, for just a couple of uh, questions from the floor. So if uh, you have a question for Shuhei, please line up behind the microphone over here. Hi, Shuhei. Thank you for being here. One question. Um, I'm a big fan of this beauty, the PlayStation Vita. Yep. Do you see any future for handheld consoles, maybe a PS Vita 2 or something like that? That's a, that's a tough question, you know, the, uh, because people have, you know, mobile phones, smartphones, and uh, it's so easy to just play games on smartphones, and most of games on smartphones are free, right? Free to start. Um, so the, yeah, I, I myself is a huge fan of PS Vita. We work really, really hard to, you know, design every aspect of uh, um, PS Vita. And, uh, and, and there are lots of people, uh, like yourself, uh, loves you know, playing games on PS Vita. There's nothing like, uh, uh, well, you know, touch-based games are fun. You know, there are many games that are really well designed. Uh, but having sticks and uh, buttons makes things totally different. Uh, so I hope, like many of uh, you, that this culture of uh, playing uh, portable games continue. But uh, the, the climate is uh, not uh, uh, healthy for now you know, because of the huge dominance of uh, mobile gaming. Finally, uh, we have a little present to celebrate uh, PlayStation's 20th birthday for a lucky member of the audience. So if you could all have a look for under your seats and see if you have something taped there. And do we have anybody with something taped? Oh, have a look inside that envelope, see what you've uh, won. You've got a 20th anniversary PS4, so uh, come up to the stage. Just a controller? So we're, we're going to send you the PS4. <laughs> we're going to send you the PS4, uh, talk to the Sony reps down in the front there, they'll, they'll come and find you, but for now... Uh, Oh, so this is the second control. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and with that, uh, thank you very much, Shuhei Yoshida. I'd like to know what you thought of the Wipeout series, and now that Studio Liverpool is closed, 
Is there any chance that we'll ever see the franchise revived? Well, never say never. Um, um, there are many uh, game IPs, game series that uh, we uh, kind of stopped uh, iterating or releasing a new game.